If you want to find out more about a couple of new selection goodies in the 2021 release of Photoshop, you're in the right place, and that's here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. If you're a regular visitor to this channel, then you'll know about the new sky replacement feature in Photoshop 2021. But there's a couple of other things tucked away that you might not have yet seen. So what I'm going to do here is work on this mailer just a little bit. And you can see I've got a color background just here. OK, and a couple of instances of text just there as well, which I'll turn off just for the moment. So making this layer active, this is an Adobe stock image just here. What I'm going to do is go up to the select menu and choose sky because sometimes you do want to select the sky, but you don't necessarily want to replace it. In this particular case, I want to actually mask it. So I'll go ahead and choose that. Photoshop will analyze the image, work out where the sky is. OK, and then I can just come along and option click my layer mask icon here to mask that away. You can see it takes just a few seconds and it even gets buildings in the background here that perhaps weren't as obvious with the original image. Well, something else that's been brought into this particular version is something in Select and Mask. So what I'm going to do first of all with this layer is I'm going to use Select Subject for the image to be analyzed or the particular layer to be analyzed to be more accurate. OK, and it returns me this result. Now, I want to refine that somewhat. So what I'm going to do is go into the Select and Mask workspace. The shortcut for that is Option Command R or Alt Control R on Windows. And equally, you could get that from the select menu as well. Now, the preview that I'm getting here isn't exactly what I'm after. This is just previewing with some fairly opaque onion skinning just there. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to cycle through the view modes by tapping F on my keyboard, like so, to cycle through them. Or if you learn the actual keys that you want, you can press those. So I actually want black here, which is A. Like so, if I tapped K for black, that would actually show me the mask. And in case you're wondering where you would learn these things, it's actually here in the view options. And you can see that it's easy to pick those up. But if you don't want to memorize those, then just use F to cycle through them until you get to a view that you like. So what I'm going to do then, if I just go back to my view against black here and change the opacity of that. Let's just make that a bit less opaque, just enough so I can see the hair here and the nature of the problem. What I can then do is use this new refine hair command. Now, if I just click that like so, you can see instantly you get a much better deal there with the hair. However, you might get a better deal if you actually change the refine mode, which is tucked away here on the side. Now, at the moment, it's using color aware. OK, you might change to object aware. It then says it will give you a different edge because it analyzes it in a different way. And that's actually working pretty well for me. And the only thing I've got to do here, because the flesh tones here are very, very similar to the actual hair and indeed content of that layer would be to actually get my brush tool here in select a mask and go ahead and just brush back in the pieces there that I wanted to keep. There we go. That's done a grand job of doing that. I'm going to choose to decontaminate the color so it will take any of the background color out of those stray hairs there. OK, and you can vary that by using the slider just here if you want to and then how it's going to be output. So for this particular one, I'm just going to choose new layer with a layer mask and hit OK. And there we go. Nicely done. And those are the two options that might have escaped you in Photoshop 2021. For now, we're done and I'll see you next time 
here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo. See ya.